Konbawa, my boosters, Eric here, and today we're doing another me tutorial pack. Woohoo! Uh, hang on, let me just turn this down a bit. Fuck! Why the hell does every YouTube video I upload always have my phone falling? I hate it! Ah! Sorry. I'm really bad at keeping my phone up. As you can tell. Alright, so all seven of these memes I'm about to read that I'm about to show you tutorials for were all requested by Colin, so good on him. Now, let's get started with the first me, Dylan. AKA the tomboy of my collection. Uh, he's also a member of the uh, of the booster ops. And she is also, actually, I think we might go up a bit higher. We'll see. Uh, and also, she was a contestant on the first season of Me Tournament. Unfortunately, she got eliminated almost immediately, but I mean, it was I mean, she it was good on her for being in the series. Uh, in, in, in any case, uh, also, I actually want to know, should I bring that series back? Should I do a season two? Uh, if I if I do, uh, is that? I that's correct. If I do bring back me tournament, oh, I will add six new contestants, and and as Kozakura requested, I'll have a um, as a, I'll have a join back like a basically like when only six contestants are left, uh, I will add I will have an episode where people can vote on someone who has been eliminated to bring back back. I'll make another video uh, soon talking about this in detail, though unfortunately I won't be able to start it like right away because I'm actually going to be going to my dad's house for like a month or maybe less probably, but yeah. Uh, that's how you make Dylan. So yeah, I won't, I won't be able to work on the series when I'm at my dad's house, but once I get back to my mom's house, I'll be able to work on it. Uh, next, we're doing Tassie. A me that just recently got brought back. He was on my channel for like a little bit, because Tassie is actually an OC that uh, me and, a, and an old friend made together. But uh, it's not. I was. I'm no longer friends with that person. We haven't spoken in a long time because uh, their way of friendship was a bit too rough for my for my taste. So I basically said, "Hey, I, I don't feel comfortable with you like teasing me and all that." Like, like I guess. I mean, on one hand, maybe I feel like I was being too harsh, but I mean, one time I was literally having an, a, a conversation with someone else, and then they just came in being like, shut up, I'm gonna fucking throw you into a freezer and, and freeze it out of it. And I was like, yeah, I don't fucking need a friend like that in my life, to be honest. I do kind of miss them, but, you know, it was kind of, you know, they were kind of fucked up, to be honest. This is not how he, this is not how he's supposed to look. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, actually, I think his eyebrows. Are... No, they're supposed to be down there. Sorry, I I I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I think it's. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, Tassie was on my channel for a little bit, and then he got got rid of, and but eventually I was like, nah, I like the, the design of this dude. I'm gonna bring him back. I was going to originally bring back Sumumochi, uh, the other me that I, that I made, the other OC that I made with that friend, but I wasn't really too interested in doing so. So, but instead I decided to bring back Tassie because he got way less love than Sumumochi back in the day. I think he might just be like default height, but he's definitely max weight, because what's a me that I made? What's a me in my Wii? What's a me on my Wii that, that who is it? Uh, what am I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying like, I have a lot of max weight me's on my Wii. So yeah, that's how you make Tassie. Next, me. Karamon. Now I'm kind of surprised I haven't done this guy sooner. Uh, he's also a member of the Booster Ops. Uh, his design is actually inspired by a me from Adam Crossing's channel that we never actually got to learn the name of, unfortunately. So, basically, 
And also, in case you don't know, he was originally inspired by like an OC I made when I was in like elementary school. Uh, I have, I have the, I have had the idea of bringing back some like other OCs I made during that time. Uh, but I haven't really done any yet. Uh, I was thinking about bringing back Kennedy, uh, cause she was freaky me and I made one, uh, I made a me of her inspired by another me that, uh, Adam Crossing had, but we never learned the name of. But, yeah, well, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but... Oh yeah, Carmon's also, Carmon's also a member of the Booster Ops. And, uh, yep, that, I guess, actually, no, I think that means the only ones I haven't done for the Booster Ops are Negris and Douglas. And Mr. Miyobi, the leader. Anyways, next me. Phoebe. Phoebe in her adult form. I've already done a tutorial for how to do Phoebe as a kid, but I, but I since edited her me to be what she looks like as an adult, so I'm going to show you all how to do that. And as you all probably remember, she's notable for being like the only CPU me I've made, or at least the only Wii Music CPU me I made, that doesn't have eyebrows, and I decided to, to utilize them in, in her redesign, or in her adult form, to represent wolf ears, because she is a wolf girl now. Nope, those are the right eyes. Those are the right eyes. I actually remember, uh, I still remember, like, uh, like, Phoebe, like, oh, no, no, when I used to be friends with Katrina, uh, she, she actually had my, had Phoebe on her Wii, but uh, I don't even think she ever noticed that I gave Phoebe a redesign, to be honest, uh, am I supposed to be up here? Yeah. Yep, that's Phoebe's face. Now, as you probably have seen, she got taller because you know she turned into a doll and got to ma got to max weight. She definitely gained a, a fair amount of that when she became an adult. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's Phoebe as an adult. I did make kid versions or adult versions of all the other kid me's, but I had in my in my uh, Wii uh, in my Wii music uh, me packs. But this is the only one I've actually added to the Wii. Uh, next, this is a me I never thought anyone would ask for. Smile San. Smile San has actually been around since the very beginning of my channel. In fact, I had her for a fair amount of time before I even started, basically because. At the time, I actually didn't really know how much space was on a Wii. It was on the Wii for it comes to, to me's. So when I when I got to 50 me's, I decided who should I make for a 50th me to celebrate, and I basically just decided to make like a an original character that like I basically made this me and named it and named them named her 50 me's, which is why if you go back to the earliest videos on my channel, you'll see that she's referred to as 50 me's. But I decided instead instead of just giving her giving her that name, I decided to uh, instead name her. I decided to rename her to Smile San, as in the fact because you know she does have a giant smile on her face. And actually, when I got the 50 meet uh, meets of the way at my dad's house too, I decided to do the same thing. Uh, I don't think I ever did a. Uh, I never did anything for 100 meets though. I never really uh, did anything for that. Uh, yeah, that's basically like this really bizarre me I made mean, a long time ago that I never actually got rid of. It's actually one of the she's actually one of the only me's that's on my on this Wii that's uh, right now that's been around since the very beginning of the channel. Most of the others have gone have been gotten rid of. Next, we're gonna do Nicholas, and uh, I do have I have two Nicholas me's because I when I named this Nicholas, I kind of forgot about the other Nicholas's existence to be honest. But, but Colin wanted the old man, old British man, Nicholas, and I was ready to supply. But being honest, this means actually probably one of the more, more difficult to make to recreate because it's kind of hard to tell like, where the proportions of his face are. I'm pretty sure I move those up a little bit. Maybe I do this. Uh, yeah, this means actually like not very easy to recreate. Uh, Uh, 
yeah, I can't go down that far. Uh, and also, as you may remember, Nicholas actually had a, had a different design when I first added him to the Wii, uh, to, to my Wii. But I really, but I didn't like it that much. So, but instead of just getting rid of him, I decided to actually redesign him. And this design is actually inspired by a me from Benjamin Halco's channel. I don't know the name of him, but yeah. Uh, and honestly, I really, I really think that was a good idea because Nicholas has become one of my favorite Mios I've ever made. Also, also, in case you didn't know, uh, canonically, Nicholas owns a, what was it called? Oh, yeah. An antique store. That's pretty cool. Also, he was on Me Tournament, Me Tournament, and he was one of the last, and he, he got second place, which is pretty good for him. Uh, lastly, we're going to be doing another Me that I did not create, but was still requested. Actually, this, this I never got requested for the other Me's, but this is the only Me I never did make but have gotten a request for. Lee from the J-Paul Music. AKA the me that everyone has a crappy off brand of. I mean, and when I say crappy, I mean crappy, I mean, I mean, Z is a, is a Z is an incest freak. Uh, Chandler is a, Chandler uh, is a criminal. And I mean, uh, D is made by, by a, a goddamn fucking Jack Mario, so. that his eyes are rather like actually like really surprisingly uh really there we go uh next um oh no is that right I only have a, the only photo I have uh, I give myself as a reference was uh, him with the glasses on, so. Oh, maybe I. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's that's about correct. My like, something I have noticed is that like uh, most people don't even realize that Lee is actually a guy, and I kind of get why, cause uh, there's a whole thing about. Like, he looks exactly like a lot of the, of the other movies from the J- uh, a lot of the girl movies from the J-Bomb music. Like, he fits in with, all, like, most of the girls on his channel. But, but it, it turns out to actually be a boy. I know Adam Crossing did, did him wrong. He, like, set him to be, like, really skinny when he's not, and he also made him a girl when she's not. But, yeah, I, I did notice that, like, a lot of the memes that Adam Crossing uh, recreated from the Japanese music, he got something wrong. He got Juan Jose's favorite color wrong, he got Juan Pablo's size wrong, uh, etc, etc. But yeah, that's a tutorial for for seven of the Mii's that are on, that are in my Mii Plaza. Uh, I hope these Mii's, I hope all these Mii's do you well, and I definitely can hope that you enjoyed, uh, that you enjoyed seeing all these Mii's. Or what, or, yeah, I hope uh, what am I trying to say? I, I guess another thing is like, if you want to request any other memes, let me know because I got, as you can see, I got a lot of memes. But yeah, that's that's gonna do it uh, for this episode of Me Tutorial Packs. Uh, I hope these memes do you well. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.